All right, so we've talked about um, how iron is or is not available. We've talked about how to make it chemically available. We've explained why using uh, this type of iron is a complete waste of your time, right? It's not gonna be soluble in your system, throwing uh, rust in there or anything like that. Um, we need to be using um, chelated iron in our system. So the next question then is, how do we know how much to put in? So I'm gonna answer that question right now. The industry standard for chelated iron is two milligrams per liter every three weeks, okay? And this was developed by Dr. Ricosi down at UVI. This is basically the dosage that he used and it's kind of been what everyone's used as the standard ever since. All right, two milligrams per liter is about the equivalent of 7.58 milligrams per gallon, okay? For all of us here in the US who do all of our calculations by gallon, this is our starting point. So most chelated iron, uh, this is not pure iron, okay? This is a percentage pure iron. So we need to calculate based on the amount of iron in this powder, okay? So uh, we need to know the percentage. So if you look on the label of your chelated iron, it will tell you somewhere between usually six and 11 or 12% iron, okay? EDDHA, is FEEDDHA is the lowest, typically the lowest uh, concentration iron, and that's usually six or seven percent. So we'll start there because it's uh, it's on the low end. So if we assume that we've got seven percent iron, okay, you know, iron in our system, we need to basically figure out how to get 7.58 milligrams of pure iron per gallon. So to do that. We're basically going to divide 7.58 by 0 0.07, and that's going to give us roughly 108 um, milligrams of powder, okay, per gallon of water uh, to get um, essentially 7.58 milligrams of pure iron per gallon. So the next thing we need to do is we need to take this number. This is our. This is the amount of powder required to get. Uh, 7.58 milligrams per gallon of pure iron and we need to multiply that by our system volume okay so in our system we've got a 4,000 gallon system so we want to multiply that by 4,000 gallons okay and uh, what we end up with is this cancels this out and uh, we end up with around uh, 432,000 milligrams per system okay so this is how much we need to be putting in every three weeks uh, to keep our iron levels at kind of the Rikosi standard um, so if you uh, know your metric that's uh, 400 oh. it's 430 yeah <laughs> 432 uh, grams in the whole system okay all right so if you have a little scale that will that will measure in grams great if you don't again if you're here in the u.s um you know you basically just convert your grams to ounces and for us for 4,000 gallons 432 grams is about the equivalent of roughly 15 ounces okay in the system every three weeks so, this is basically how much we're putting in on a uh, three-week schedule to make sure we maintain iron in, in ad adequate levels. So everyone's system is gonna be a little bit different. Now, we don't dose at nearly this high a rate. We actually dose at a little bit lower rate, but um, we know our system well, and we know how much iron it will take and uh, how much we need to be putting in to keep it healthy. So that's something that you can figure out as you go, but I would recommend starting here starting here um, with your iron inputs right off the bat and then you can bring them down over time to save some money um, you know putting extra iron into your system unless you're really putting a lot in isn't really going to um, impact your system too much uh, you don't want to exceed these levels but um, you know if, if this is too much for your system it's not going to hurt your system um, if you are able to come down save some money and not see any iron deficiency you're still supplying enough iron great 
So another thing folks can do, if you're putting in uh, iron on a three week schedule but you've got a lot of young stuff consistently in the system, um, sometimes it behooves you to break that up a little bit and uh, basically put in so much every single week. So for us that would be something like five ounces every week uh, that we'd be adding to the system to make sure that um, there's enough iron even uh, you know with younger stuff. Now Dr. Ricosi, he was doing kind of these longer production trials so um, it didn't matter as much you know you could actually have luxury uptake at one point and then you know down the road uh, you know add it again and kind of have these cyclical uh, you know things where there's more iron in the system at one second than the next. If you've got lots of young stuff at any given time and you're worried about stunting sometimes it's worth it to even things out and just kind of add some every week. So if you want to you can always just divide that number by three and add that once a week. All right, well, there's the, there's the scoop on iron. Uh, again, thanks for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Also, check out our new uh, blog, the Vertical Food Blog. We're going to be posting a lot of free information on how to set up greenhouses, how to dose your systems, and we're going to be offering free ebooks on uh, that blog as well as we kind of compile a lot of this information from our videos. So check that out, and uh, we'll see you guys again here pretty soon. Ammonia is a really important thing to understand in aquaponic systems. Um, because it's one of the primary things that the fish are producing that's both toxic, but also something that's, you know, kind of the beginning step um, in this chemical reaction that leads to our plants having proper nutrition. So, um, there's a lot of misunderstandings out there about ammonia. 